So hello everyone, I am Monica from IELTS 9. You can see this, this question statement, this writing task 1 was part of 13 January 2024 IELTS exam in India. So IELTS exam in India, writing task 1 was this line graph. So this question can be repeated in my neighboring country, in Gulf countries, in Canada, in US, anywhere in UK also, anywhere it can come. But basically you need to know what kind of vocabulary we can use it for writing this line graph, how we are going to plan this writing task one and in simple, in simple method I will tell you if you do not know how to organize the detailed things, simple I will just tell you in a story form. So uh, we will read the things and we will write the sentence, we will read, we will analyze the things about these graphs not other things okay. So let's start it and yes of course now we have uh, got this uh, line graph the, uh, line graph paper. So here what we need to do first of course we are planning now. So we will just read the title of the uh, this line graph production of forest industry in the UK okay. So here they have given production in million tons So data has been given in million tons okay from 0 to 350 and here I can see three lines are given in different uh, colors but in exam you will not get in different colors slightly they will just they can just do it dark color, dark color line light color line and middle kind of line okay so green one is paper and packaging the purple one is wood pulp and third one is swan wood okay so you can see this three line now what uh, what I can see this this line is going up means this is upward trend okay positive trend is going on in the growth in growth in the production this is production okay they are talking about production here it is given production of forest industry in the UK okay now uh, this is going up and this I can see going up going down so this is downward trend this is upward trend and what about this with slightly changes with with slight fluctuation in the growth and uh, uh, finally it uh, it it increases with some uh, uh, some growth in the production okay so this is uh, you can say, you can say it increased but with little fluctuations okay not much increased okay now we have analyzed now after this we have analyzed everything now here uh, when you are analyzing the things so at what point it is it is 150 you just do your homework before writing detailed paragraphs okay so this is um, 150 so just above 150 you can say here it is uh, no it is not 16 170 in fact it is it may be 160 just above uh, you can just say just above 150 in data no need to write this just above 150 okay and here uh, it is it is 100 is here see this 100 is here it means this and 200 must be here so here this is uh, if you do not know how to just analyze just write just just below 150 million tons okay but here I can see 170 no no sorry it is not 170 sorry uh, it, uh, uh, 150 and uh, okay here it is we can say 130 this is 130 okay and what about this 200 exact and this is just above 150 just cross 150 uh, 150 line or here you can say 270 and here exact 250 and here exact 350 so this data we have analyzed now planning is done coming to another thing so rules you should remember four paragraphs you should write it definitely 20 minutes you should spend not more than that and 150 words you should write and if uh, if possible 170 or 180 also is okay 170 175 uh, so these are okay so you can write it so there is no maximum limit but minimum limit is 150 and if your essay remains at 140, 145 or uh, 150 then, then also there is no problem. But actual thing is you should just come out with uh, every, every changes in the writing task one. 
you should just write everything whatever the change is whatever the graph is there that if if you have written everything then that is enough for uh, your essay 150 words are also good so uh, and we what we have done analyze the graph and categories also we have seen and tenses yeah important thing is tense what tense we are going to write of course we can see all past tense all past years are there there are three decades okay so we will just write everything in passive voice past passive voice as well as in past tense and now let's read the question statement and how to write introduction no before that i will show you vocabulary also see this vocabulary uh, figures if the data is in percentage you can use percentage proportion percentile figures accounts amounts and uh, the tense is in the past tense accounted to amounted to and of course these are adjectives sharply suddenly suddenly rise sharply rise rapidly dramatically significantly steadily considerably sharp sudden gradual steep <coughs> steep means uh, sharp sudden gradual steep all means same and fluctuations in graphs so you can see if it is going up uh, upward direction and it is going down downward direction and if it is stable kind of thing plateaued or stabilized you can use the word slightly declined so it is going mm, if suppose slightly going down then you can use the word slightly decline and vocabulary words for increase you can use rise arise increase but when you are writing it in past tense use second verb increase climb growth uh, decrease when it, there is a decrease decrease a drop fall decline and dip peak at highest point dip means down hit a high of means a highest point in the graph and remain steady means unchanged and remain unchanged so these are the vocabulary words only use learn these vocabulary words daily revise these vocabulary words you can take screenshot and this is very helpful for writing task 1 now how to write introduction as you know in introduction you what you have to do paraphrase the question statement how i have done the instead of line graph the given line chart illustrates depicts delineates you can use any vocabulary so two three vocabulary words for for this you can just learn it illustrates the production quantity so production quantity of three different so here they have given already name so i will not be using it same word three different wood categories in the united king kingdom production we have already used production in the united kingdom instead of uk i have just written full form during three decades instead of writing from 1980 to 2000 during three decades we know it 1980 1990 and 20 means no it is not three decades uh from no no during three years you can say no no that is wrong it means three decades it is not three decades it is only 1980 Yeah, yeah, three decades. No, no, it is sorry, three. It is not three decades. Now I have changed. It is not three decades. Sorry. So they have started the data from nineteen eighty, nineteen ninety, and two thousand. So means gap is only twenty years. So I forgot. So what I have written during uh, three during three day three years data three years data and the last line the statistical data is presented in million tons. See this. whatever the uh, uh, the style they have given you uh, here it is given million tons so we can just inform the reader that the statistical data is presented in million tons now overall paragraph overall paragraph means you need to come up with highest and lowest also and any other striking point if you want to write it so what i have written overall it can be clearly seen that so this is ready made line please learn it overall o is capital so you can always start your overall paragraph with this line the production of paper and packaging wooden items experienced a significant growth throughout the time period or you can say uh, experienced a uh, experienced an upward trend throughout the time period you can say 
whereas so it is important to use these words comparative words are important whereas the opposite trend followed by or downward trend here you write a positive uh, upward trend and here you can write downward trend followed by other two remaining products in the graph okay so this is just the intro, uh, overall paragraph see this this is going up upward trend this these are going downward actually so what we have written same thing now how now it's important to know how to analyze the body how to write body paragraphs so there are two ways you can go for uh, category wise or you can go for year wise also category wise is also good and but here uh, in this essay i have written year wise so let's start with first year that is in 1980 paper and packaging initiated with the highest production with 230 million tons i will show you so 230 it is 2 230 above 200 and 250 between it is 230 i have written here production with 230 million tons which was chased by second category so which was chased by second category 200 and 150 which was chased by second category wood pulp at 200 million tons while Swan ranked uh, last, which figured out at just above, just above one fifty million tons in the UK. Simple thing I have just given, and comparatively thing I have done within these three um, categories. Now second number. Now I will be talking about see this, this one, nineteen ninety. In the next ten years gap. So how how in the next ten years gap, nineteen ninety. You can just write it in bracket. okay so one more important line i have written see notice it it could be worth noted noted that so this also you can use it in your uh, writing task one there was a slight increment in paper and packaging so in in this first you just notice it then we will write slight increase and gradual um, sharp or dramatically decrease and here also some Uh, some decrement some decrease in the graph okay see this uh, here we are here we were just uh, there was a slight increment in paper and packaging with just touching 250 million tons on the other hand a sharp decline was displayed uh, with 50 million tons from 200 to 150 tons uh, yes but i have not written the category so i have to write it here So now a sharp decline in sandalwood was displayed with this. So here I have give I have written the data information in different style. I have given difference between two hundred and one fifty fifty millions. Uh, like it was reduced. Sharp decline was displayed with fifty uh, million tons from two hundred to one fifty million tons. And lastly, last category, uh, this uh, sandalwood. No. last category this purple one i will be talking uh wood pulp this is wood pulp actually see this when i am checking my when i am reading my essay i am getting my own mistakes okay wood pulp production saw gradual fall at 150 gradual fall slight fall so not not this see this i have got my own mistakes slight fall at 150 million ton from 1 160 millions you can just write like that okay simple story way you can just explain it if you do not want to use any other, any other ready made things only these things please uh, learn it okay and these uh, these uh, connectors also comparatively connectors now third paragraph however the story was different in 2000 so see this before writing body detail you have to just look at the diagram again and again you see this so here we can see 2000 so there is a dramatic increase in first category paper and packaging and there a uh, uh, slight increase in the in, in the production here and there is a in decrease over here so what i have written see this however the story was different However the story was different in 2000 while there was a dramatic growth in paper and packaging production with highest figure 
so highest i forgot to write so i have written highest figures at 350 million tons in the line graph okay this is line graph strikingly no this is i have cut it on the contrary the production of swan would witnessed a gradual decrease from 150 million tons to 130 million tons which was reflected a lowest in the line graph see this now this is lowest this is highest so i have just explained this also highest one and the lowest one also see this uh, this we have done okay finally wood pulp production so purple one wood pulp production pattern was more complex and changed from 150 to 170 million tons now change from 150 million to 170 so how i have written my essay see this how i have written this line graph in a simple manner i have not thought so much but only focused on analyzing on the full table full line graph then is it is easy to write full writing task one